hi guys welcome to my channel today i am going to share with you how to make a elephant with crochet so to make this elephant i have used single crochet stitches and decorated with this um, blanket and head cap and did the embroidery to give this look you can use this uh, crochet elephant in any of your home decoration I'm going to use this as a hanging so in my previous videos I have shared this heart buttons so I'm going to put this buttons and this elephant in a thread to make the hanging so to make the elephant you can take any thread of your choice here I'm going to use this cotton thread and this embroidery thread to, to make the ears and this back cover you will also need few beads black beads to make the eyes and this one I am going to use to make this tail you will also need few beads to decorate the head of the elephant and for this cotton thread I am going to use crochet hook of size 2.0 mm you will also need some fiber filling to stuff the body before we start how to make this elephant i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe and share my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to make this elephant first make chain 14 make a slip knot in your hook and chain 14 so this is our first chain skip this first chain and this is our second chain and when you turn you can get this back knot here we are going to make one single crochet so take your hook into this back knot So make one single crochet then into the second two so like this we have to make 12 single crochets after 12 single crochets when you come to the last stitch here we are going to make three single crochet stitches so we made 15 stitches one side now we are going to work opposite side so like this we have to work on this stitches and make 12 single crochet so this is my first stitch so we made three single crochets and when you see this is our first stitch the opposite side so here you can see this ch chain V structure now take your hook in both the loops like this make one single crochet so one like this we have to make 12 single crochet till this first stitch So 12 stitches at the opposite side so we have total 27 stitches now top of very first stitch here we are going to make a slip stitch and chain one so round number two is done 
so in round number three we are going to make one one single crochet stitches into the next 13 stitch so one put the marker in your first stitch like this make 13 single crochet stitch of the 13 single crochets to the next stitch make 3 single crochets after 3 single crochets into the next 13 stitches again make 1 1 single crochet Thirteen single crochet now in top of very first stitch make a slip stitch and chain one so round number three is done with 29 stitches in round number four into the next 14 stitches make one one single crochet put the marker in your first stitch so like this make total 14 single crochets so after 14 single crochet stitches in next stitch make three single crochets After 3 single crochets into the next 14 stitches make 1 1 single crochets so 14 single crochets now in top of very first stitch again make 1 slip stitch and chain 1 so total so in round number 4 we will have 31 stitches in round number 5 into the next 15 stitches make 1 1 single crochet So after 15 single crochets in next stitch make 3 single crochet after 3 single crochets into the next 15 stitches make 1 1 single crochet So 15 single crochets again in top of first stitch make a slip stitch and chain one so in round number five we will have 33 stitches in round number six into the next 16 stitches make one one single crochet So after 16 single crochets in top of next stitch make 3 single crochets
after three single crochets again into the next 16 stitches make one one single crochet so round number six is done and we have total 35 stitches now here we are going to make the first leg so we done this part now we are going to make this leg now to make the leg we are going to make three slip stitches so this is our very first stitch here we are going to make a slip stitch so take your hook and top of very first single crochet now this is our last stitch and this is the second last so now take your hook in top of second last stitch and make a slip stitch here then take your hook into the second stitch then take your hook into the opposite side stitch and make a slip stitch so two now take your hook in top of next stitch and here in top of next stitch so we are making slip stitches by taking these stitches from both the side and make a slip stitch so in round number seven we made three slip stitches to join this two ends together now in round number eight into the next 14 stitches make one one single crochet one put the marker in your first stitch two like this make total 14 single crochets so after 14 single crochets in next stitch make two single crochet after two single crochets into the next 14 stitches make one one single crochet so when you once you make the 13th stitch we come to the very starting point where we made the slip stitches here make one single crochet so total 14 then top of very first stitch make a slip stitch now make chain one so round number eight is done and we have total 30 stitches now in round into the next 15 stitches make one one single crochet one the marker in your first stitch so like this make total 15 single crochet so after 15 single crochet into the next stitch make two single crochets then after two single crochets into the next 14 stitches make one one single crochet so round number is done and we have 31 stitches now from round number 10 to 13 we are going to make one one single crochet stitches in top of each stitch from the previous round 
वन बुद्धी मार्कर So like this, make one one single crochet and complete the round number ten to thirteen. So round number thirteen is done. Now in round number fourteen, we are going to make the second leg. So make chain four. Now skip this first chain, and when you turn your work, you can get this back knot. Here we are going to make one single crochet. Then into the next knot, two. The next knot, three. So after three single crochets. In top of very first stitch here, make one single crochet. So now make one one single crochets in each stitch from the previous round. So we have thirty one single crochets. So one is done. Now make thirty single crochets. So we made one one single crochets in top of each stitch, and again we come to this starting chain four. So here we are going to make one, two, and three single crochets. So total we have thirty seven stitches. Three from very starting single crochets, then thirty one top of each stitch from the previous round, and three again at the opposite side. So six and thirty one stitches. So total thirty seven stitch. Now top of very first stitch. Here we are going to make a slip stitch. Chain one. So round number fourteen is done. Now from round number fifteen to eighteen, we are going to make one one single crochets in top of each stitch. So we will have thirty seven stitches. So this is our first, so top of next stitch. Make one single crochet. One. Put the marker in your first stitch. Then into the next stitch, make one single crochet. So two. So like this, make one one single crochet in top of each stitch from the previous round, and complete round number fifteen to eighteen. So at the end of round number eighteen, we will have thirty-seven stitches. So round number eighteen is done, and we got this shape. Now here again we are going to make the slip stitches by taking the stitches from both the side. So take your hook in top of first stitch here from this side, and this is our second last stitch of from of this side. So take your hook into that stitch. And make a slip stitch. One. Now take your hook into the next stitch.
then next is then next is stitch from this side and make slip stitch so two like this we have to make four more slip stitches so we made six slip stitches now in round number 19 we are going to make one one single crochet into the next 25 stitches one put the marker in your first stitch two so like this make one one single crochet so 25 stitches top of very first stitch make a slip stitch So in round number 19 we will have 25 stitches at this point we are going to stuff this body with the fiber now in next round top of next stitch make two single crochets Put the marker in your first stitch then into the next 23 stitches make one one single crochet so 23 single crochets now in the last stitch make two single crochets At the end of this round we will have 27 stitches top of very first stitch make a slip stitch chain one now in next round top of next stitch make two single crochets so one and one more in same space so two after two single crochets into the next 25 stitches make one one single crochet put the marker put the marker in your first stitch then make one one single crochet in next 25 stitches So after 25 single crochet stitches into the next stitch make two single crochet top of very first stitch make a slip stitch so at the end of this round we will have 29 stitches again we will fill this gap now in next round we are going to work on this part so make chain 11 chain 11 again we are going to work on this chain and this stitches from the previous round so we skip first chain and the back of next chain make one single crochet so 
one single crochet so like this in the back knots of next nine chain stitches make one one single crochet Now make one one single crochets till this point. Then again in next chain ten, we are going to make one one single crochet. So we have total 49 stitches, 20 stitches in this chain 10 and 29 stitches from the previous round. So total 20, so total 49 stitches. Now on top of, now top of very first stitch, again make a slip stitch, chain 1. Now in next round, in next 4 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. So after 4 single crochets into the next 5 stitches, make 1 1 slip stitch. So after 5 slip stitches into the next 31 stitches make one one single crochet so after 31 stitches again into the next five stitches make one one slip stitch So after 5 slip stitches into the next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. On top of first stitch make 1 slip stitch. Chain 1. So next round next four stitches make one one single crochet so after third single crochet we come to this slip stitches so here we are not going to work on this slip stitch take your hook below this stitch here and make one single crochet so one so one two three and four single crochets now after four single crochet we are going to make decreases of two single crochet stitches so to do the decrease you have to work like this take your hook so this is our slip stitch is take your hook at the below of that slip stitch here grab this thread and pull through that then into the next one then into the next one so we have three and four stitches now grab this thread and pull through all so this is we decrease two stitches here Now into the next 16 stitches make one one single crochet So 
so after 16 single crochets again we are going to make decrease so to do the decrease take the front loop of next stitch grab the thread and pull through that then into the next stitch grab the thread and pull through that then into the next stitch grab the thread and pull through that so we have again four loop now grab the thread and pull through all four then into the next 16 stitches again we are going to make one one single crochet Sixteen single crochets. Then again, we are going to make decrease. So this is our slip stitches. So here we are going to take to make the decrease. Take your hook in the below of that slip stitch. Wrap the thread and pull through that. Then into the next stitch. into the next stitch full loop now grab the thread and pull through all then into the next four stitches make one one single crochet on top of first stitch make again a slip stitch chain one now in last round in next four stitches make one one single crochets so after four single crochets here we are going to make the decrease so take the front loop of first stitch grab the thread and pull through that then take the front loop of next stitch now grab the thread and pull through that then front loop of next stitch grab the thread and pull through that now grab the thread and pull all four loops in your hook then into the next 13 stitches make one one single crochet so after 13 single crochets again we are going to make decreases so one two and three front loops now grab this thread and pull through all four loop then into the next 13 stitches make one one single crochet so after 13 stitches again we are going to make decrease Then into the next four stitches make one one single crochet top of first stitch make a slip stitch chain one now pull this thread and cut with some margin with this thread we are going to stitch this part Again, we are going to stuff this part now take this thread and a needle and we are going to stitch this part so this is our last stitch and this is our second last this is our next stitch take the needle in front loop then 
take the needle into the front loop of next stitch like this now pull this thread now in this side take your needle to the front loop of first stitch then take needle of front loop of next stitch like this pull this thread then th then this side take your needle front loop so by taking the front loop of two stitches we have to stitch pull this thread so like this you have to complete till this top you have to stitch like this at the opposite side take the front loop of two stitches like this pull this thread close also stuff this gap with the filling So this is closed. Now when you come to this top, now take this needle in the center and take out to this end. Here I'm going to put this three beads. I make a knot here. Cut this thread. So this is done just remove this part so we made the tail now we are going to make the ears now in this ring first make three single crochets now close this ring make chain one turn your work now skip this turning chain and into the next three stitches from the previous round make two two single crochets chain one turn your work skip turning chain then make one single crochet on top of next stitch 
then into the next make two single crochet so repeat this stitches make one single crochet then two single crochet till your last stitch so we have nine stitches then chain one turn your work then into the next two stitches make one one single crochet then into the next stitch make two single crochet so like this repeat this stitches make one single crochet then one single crochet then two single crochet then one one then two chain one then turn skip chain one and then into the next three stitches make one one single crochet then into the next stitch make two single crochet so repeat this stitches into the next three stitches make one one single crochet then into the next two single crochet and repeat till this end now make chain one pull this thread and cut with some margin same like this make one more pair now we are going to stitch this here's so one two three four five six and seventh so in the seventh row we are going to stitch this here now we are going to join this ends year is done now same like this just count the seventh row one two three four five six and seventh reach this pallor this now stitch this ear so ears got attached if you want to use this like this just attach the eyes but if you want to use this head decoration and this blanket so you just made this two part so to make the blanket what you have to do you have to make chain 9 skip first chain and into the next eight is chains make one one single crochets then chain one turn your work and make eight single crochets and repeat the single crochets until you get the width and length for the blanket which fits to this back so I made total 24 rows with 8 single crochets if you want to decorate like this with embroidery you can make this embroidery and then stitch this blanket to this body and also for the head decoration with any color of your choice just make a ring then in this then in that ring make eight single crochets then 
two two single crochets in each stitch then one single crochet and two single crochets so total so total 24 stitches I make to get this size and just measure like how big you want for the head so for me this three rounds are okay so first I'm going to add this head part then I'm going to make the eye So this is done. I hope you have learned from this video. If you have any questions or query, please do let me know in my comment section. You can also connect to me through my Insta and Facebook page. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.